Ted, when you were with Hannah, you did a lot of consulting. You've traveled probably all over the United States, probably three or four times. Oh, yeah. Can you share with us a little bit about what a consultant does and what the benefits are in using a consultant? Uh, yes, it, um, um, gosh, my, my uh, start with uh, Red Arrow, of course, was one good example that uh, uh, here's a man that had been in the exterior car wash business, had no idea, never been in a full service car wash business before, and had no training of it, and, and uh, hadn't had time to go through the school of hard knocks, and he takes them over, and, and there's just certain things he realized in a nine-month period he was going in the hole. He, he calls for help. I need a consultant. I need somebody to help me. We're doing something wrong, obviously, and we don't know what it is, and we don't know what to do to fix this thing, and we need help. Uh, of course, um, uh, you know, having had the background, the training, having uh, managed car washes myself, opened a car wash from scratch myself, and trained and hired a people, and knowing the... Um, specific guidelines that you should have for for controlling labor and and uh, 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 what the traffic count is therefore what your your uh, based on that the percent that you should wash and and uh, so what your volume should be and, and is the volume what it should be and if not why is that uh, so you, you troubleshoot it and and then uh, uh, once you if you got that volume are you getting the revenue per car that you should get and why why or why not is the problem that uh, the people aren't offering the additional services and there's a lack of revenue there. So you, you go through and you, you check all these different things to find where the problem is. Do you have the volume? Do you have the revenue that you should have per car? If you do, then let's go to the expense side. Why is it not turning into profit and what's eating it up? Uh, is the labor out of line and we don't have a proper labor control uh, system? Uh, you know, sometimes it can be things as simple as, as uh, uh, procedures that is the most efficient use of your labor to get the cars, the most number of cars out of the least number of labor hours uh, most efficiently. And uh, um, if we're doing things wrong and in double tracking and so forth, there's wasted motion and you can't get as much production or as many cars out of the, the number of labor hours you should could be one problem. Uh, the other problem, um, you know, it, it could be that um, uh, people are doing a proper procedure, but we're just using too much people or too many labor, too many men. So. Um, you, you know, you, you've got to have a guideline of uh, you use for this many cars, you use this many labor hours. And uh, so sometimes it's a matter of training procedures. Sometimes it's a matter of training them the guidelines and to watching them hour by hour to make sure you're in those guidelines. Uh, so it could be a labor, labor ally. You, you know, it can be a uh, uh, chemical. And, um, uh, you know, you should be able to have a certain percent of your gross profit uh, that goes for your chemical expense and you got to know what those guidelines are and what that should be and if it's in within that guideline uh, you know it could be something that uh, you know they, they're they're mixing the tire cleaner uh, twice as strong as it needs to be and they're wasting it and their, their expenses doubled on a particular chemical because they're not mixing it properly uh, you know it, it can be things with chemical where uh, you know, a line coming from the back room going out to the tunnel is leaking down in the pit somewhere and we're not seeing it and we're just pumping chemicals out down the drain. Uh, uh, you know, it could be any number of things, but you're going to have to look at the financial and, and, and find, you know, where the thing is out of line, then go look at it. And, and uh, you know, it's kind of like repairing a car. They, 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 uh, uh, you start here and you go through your um, process of elimination to, to find where the problem is and what you need to do to cure it. And certainly if you've never been in a business, you don't uh, have the experience with it, you don't know what these guidelines are, you don't know where to look or what to look for, it can be very frustrating for a, an operator that's, that's got a nice facility and, and uh, you know, it, it has the money and has invested in it and they're trying to do their best and uh, it's just not making the money for them and uh, uh, they're trying hard and they can't figure it out and don't know what it is, it, it can be very frustrating. And uh, yet it can be so simple to somebody that knows and has that experience that can go in there and identify the problem very quickly and uh, give them a proper solution and teach and train them to uh, how to start going down that road with it for the future to make the, make the changes. But you know, um, uh, to, to continue to, to ignore that and try to figure it out in the school of hard knocks, uh, you can lose more money in a month than it costs to pay somebody that knows what they're doing.